In coding interviews, there's one problem that shows up more often than almost any other. It's called two-sum. Today, let's break it down. The problem is simple. You're given an array of integers and a target value. Your task is to return the indices of two numbers that add up to the target. For example, if the array is 3, 2, 7, 4, and the target is 6, the answer is indices 1 and 3, because 2 plus 4 equals 6. The most straightforward solution is brute force. We use two loops to try out every possible pair and check if their sum equals the target. This works, but it's costly. If the array has length n, there are about n squared pairs to check. That means the time complexity is O of n squared. It's fine for small arrays, but way too slow for large ones. So we need a smarter approach. Think about it this way. Every number is waiting for a partner that makes the sum equal to the target. For example, if the target is 6 and you see the number 2, it's basically thinking, I'm waiting for 4. The question becomes, as we scan through the array, can we quickly check if that partner has already shown up? If yes, we found the pair. If not, we just leave a note and move on. This is where a hash map comes to the rescue. You can think of it as a notebook where we record each number we've seen, along with its index. Let's walk through the array 3274 with target 6. First, we see 3. To make the sum 6, we'd need another 3. The notebook is empty, so we write down 3 together with its index 0. Next comes 2. It needs a 4, but the notebook only has 3, so we record 2 with its index 1. Then we see 7. It needs negative 1, which isn't in the notebook, so we add 7 in its index, 2. Finally, we reach 4. It needs a 2, and when we check the notebook, 2 is already there at index 1. Pair found. The answer is indices 1 and 3. And remember, the problem asks us to return the indices, not the numbers themselves. The whole process is just scanning the array while checking the notebook for each number's partner. That gives us an O of N solution, much faster than brute force. Now let's look at the code. In Python, the hash map solution is super clean. The idea is exactly what we just walked through. The hash map stores numbers we've already seen along with their indices. As we loop, if the complement isn't in the map yet, we store the current number. If the complement is already there, we return the two indices right away. This is the solution interviewers really like to see. It runs in O of n time and uses O of n space since we need the hash map. 